Hi, welcome to Artistry Collaborative. My name is Joanne, and today we are going to create this spider Halloween tree. It's pretty big. It doesn't even fit in the camera. Um, it is uh, 36 inches, but you can make it any size. Matter of fact, at the end of the video, you'll see it. there's a smaller version. But all Dollar Tree items, so much fun. And so come along. Here at Auto Street Collaborative, our motto is we just ask you to try. So let's try this together. Okay, so this is the bucket painted. I'm going to leave the handle. I like the handle. It, you know. Um, and so I filled this with rocks because I figured. Well, you know, it'll weight it down, but it also, it, I'll have to use less plaster of Paris. Now, on the plaster of Paris, it says two pots plaster to one pot water. Not my water. Where's the water right here? And so, we take this. We put that in there. We get a stirring stick. We stir it up. Now, these are three um, skewers that are like for um, s'mores. So, you know, you may have them left over from the summer. And yeah, you can use those. They, some people said that they got them at the Dollar Tree. I did not, but you know, you will be able to find them, absolutely. And if not, you know, you probably could use a straight, like go out and to take a walk and find a straight piece of wood in the, uh, actually I would think I would have liked that better because it would have looked a little more spooky. But, you know, a lot of times these ideas come to me late. What are you gonna do? But yeah, use that too. Try to find a straight, doesn't have to be straight, but as straight as you can get it, um, stick. So, this is mixed. And I'm just going to pour it in. Okay, it's taken more than I thought it would. So I'll have to make another batch. Now it says it sets in 30 to 40 minutes. I'm not taking that chance. I'm, um... Now, I have that. I'm going to put more rocks in there so I can get it more straight more straight is that correct English probably not uh, like that and um, and what I did is I just put two elastics to hold them together you can hot glue them together um, and I probably will scrape it even more go. We're going to let that sit overnight and I'll be back. All right. So this is nice and solid. It's been a couple of days actually. And, um, I'm going to cut the elastic at the top and we're going to paint these and this, and then I'll probably glue these together. Um, I want to apologize in a couple of my tutorials. People keep asking me what, what kind of paint I, I thought I explained it, but this, I use gesso, black gesso. Gesso you'll find in the art department of Joann's or Michael's, or if you go to Blick or Jerry's Autorama, they sell it too. Um, it, you can use black acrylic paint. That will work too. Um, I just like gesso because it is, it's, how can I, it's very thick and it's a primer. So a lot of times when I do mixed media and I add mica powders or paint on top of it, it adheres extra well. Now I'm not gonna paint over this, but who knows, I could change my mind. But I just like 
Gesso. It's G-E-S-S-O. I will put a link. I always put links at the bottom to tell you what you need to do the product, the project. And, um, like, I use a lot of Dollar Tree, so I'll tell you that it's Dollar Tree. Or if you can't get it, I'll tell you Joann's or Amazon, you know, what it is you're looking for. But if you do a lot of projects and you... I notice a lot of people use chalk paint. I just bought my first little two jars of chalk paint, and I haven't tried them yet. Um, so I'm curious to see what the big thing is about chalk paint. But um, I just really like gesso. Um, so that's why I use the gesso. But again, you can use black acrylic paint from the craft stores. That's perfectly fine. And... Um, you know, this apple barrel, and there is uh, folk art. Uh, I think Michaels and Joann's have their name brand. Any of them are fine. And you can always spray paint. I spray painted the, uh, the bucket, so, you know, I could have spray painted these too, but... I think when you do spray paint, because it goes all over, when you're doing something skinny like this, you, you know, r should brush it because you get better coverage. I think you'll lose a lot of the paint when you spray paint something so small. So, okay, these have got to dry. But that's all I'm going to do with this. All right. So with that we're going to set aside. Now, I bought these at Joann's, and of course these are from the Dollar Tree. And you pull off the spiders. These glow in the dark, so we're going to put this at the very top, um, which I think will be really cool. Now, I saw this. this what gave me the idea for this is I was looking through a catalog of a friend of mine and I saw the tree and I like ooh and I was gonna do it next year and my daughter goes why are you waiting till next year why don't you do a tutorial on it this year and I'm like yeah I think you're right so that's what we're gonna do um so I don't know what I'm doing uh, but what's gonna happen is we are going to make tears so this will be the first level and then I'm gonna cut this off and we're gonna have this and then we're gonna have this and this and this. We're going to have five levels. And then we're going to hang little ornaments off of it. Off of it. So, yeah. I think it'll be really cute. Um, and I guess you could make it, you know, like stand on the floor like a big, big one. I think this would probably be a tabletop one. So, all right. So, this will be the front, the first one. So, I'm just going to cut enough to go around the sticks. So this one little piece is going to come out. Now I would keep, I would try to peel, yeah, the plastic part off and keep this so that we can, when we put it over there, we can use these to wrap up any glue. All right, so that's the first level. And now we're going to go and we're going to cut the second level. Now the reason why I'm adding the Joanne fabric ones is because I wanted more levels, obviously, um, and this only has three. So now I'm sure if you're very ambitious, you could use wire and create your own webs. Um, they do sell this black. Well, they don't sell it black. I've seen it white for Christmas or silver. And you could spray paint it black if you wanted to do this on all of them. But I think we're just going to add some glitter to this one 
the, these here. And um, yeah, I got these half price at Joann's. Well, they were buy one, get one. So we'll do that uh, to cut this one off. Okay, so what I'm doing this time is I'm wrapping the tinsel where I want it to lay, and I'm going to put a little hot glue. <laughs> After all that, it's as simple as this. And then we'll do another one so that it really stays on there. And then let's do even another one. Then what I'm going to do is put the glue on the top of this and it will melt because it's only plastic but it will be fine. And then you're going to slide this down and then carefully hold that. Okay. Now this little piece came up so we'll glue this back down. Okay, so as you can see, I cut and made a cross section for this. Now, if you're wondering, I don't even know if you can see this, but there's two different colors. That's because I use two different glitters. So <laughs> if you're going to do this project, make sure you have enough glitter. So we're going to do this one. I don't know. I might not do all of them because it looks like it's a little too many. Um, I'm going to back it up a little bit, and I just, I don't know if I made any cuts, I did, but that way, that way, that way, and then you're just going to put it over. one. Now I did um, go outside and covered it with this UV resistant clear. Uh, again, they say you can use hairspray, um, but I had that, so I used that. And then this is the top. So, oh, it doesn't even, all right. So there's the five tiers. Um, and I'm just going to put hot glue on those top three. And uh, actually, I'll wrap some more just to be safe of that glitter around each base. And then I'll come back and we will decorate it and put the spider web and the spiders on the top. Okay. So it's been a few crazy days. So um, I wanted to show you that I did string the Dollar Tree lights all the way up. And I wanted to, I put a little hot glue here because we're going to put the spider here. Well, sort of like there. All right. So what I did is I took a um, tongue depressor and painted it black. And I'm going to put some glue on it. And then... I am just going to put this onto that. Just press it up there and let that hold. And these come with this 
spider web. So um, you get these, and they glow in the dark, which I think is just awesome. Now, of course, this is going to go here, and we'll glue that into place. And then this is going to go here. So we're going to glue this on either side of the tree. So I think I'm going to make these a little bit shorter. So just take a scissor, cut it, put this one next to it, like so, so that you're cutting them the same. Let's put some hot glue here so this is staying put. Then I'm going to put this on this side, just put some on the tongue depressor and hold that. And then put it on the other side. I think the fact that they glow in the dark is just going to be awesome. All right, and we'll let that dry. I have a bunch of these left over from last year. Um, I took the wood shapes from the Dollar Tree and covered them with paper and then outlined them with glitter glue and um, would use those to hang the things on the tree. So just to go over it briefly, um, I'm going to show you how I did that. You just take a pencil, follow the outline of the wood, and cut it out. It has been crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, as I had said previously, I was working on hosting this craft show. It's been the driest season. The, the, the state is down 10 inches of rain from last year. And um, it decided to rain on the day that we're supposed to have the craft show. So. Needless to say, the craft show didn't happen, and we didn't know if it was going to, and it was just, it was chaos. It was chaos. So we had to reschedule for the 24th. So between finding people that already had something going on that day and whatnot, yeah. So I'm just putting some Nod Podge down, and I'm just going to cover up the um, ghost. Now, you can use all kinds of things to decorate your tree, and I'm going to show you. Um, I had some felt pieces I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have, I, we're, we're going to put little bits of candy. Uh, you can decorate this any way you like. You know, I used to have a miniature Halloween tree, and I used to have all these little tiny figurines. Um, I don't know what happened to them. You move enough times, you 
and get rid of everything. But you just put this on here and we're going to let that dry and then we'll trim it and outline it and hang it. So that's that one. All right. Now, these guys, these are just a package of felt things that um, Dollar Tree sold. But what I did is, now with the pumpkins, because one goes one way and one goes the other, I cut one of the stems off. And I took a bunch of paper clips and just bent it out like so and then painted them black. Now I don't need all of this so what I'm going to do is just cut it and um, hot glue it on. Now this is really, really sticky. So you put your hot glue down like so. You put your paper clip in there and then you take your other piece and just line it up and squeeze it on. And it's as simple as that. And then we'll wait for it to dry and then we can hang it. Now the other thing I did, and I did this for the spooky house, but in case you haven't seen that one, is I um, embossed these. So if you go to the spooky house, uh, spooky mansion uh, tutorial, I'll show, it shows you how to um, emboss. But basically you just put some embossing glue on there, you put the powder, you heat it up, and that's what you get. So, but I didn't want, you know, just one side done. And I didn't want this to show. Like you could do both sides and then just put this on if you didn't want to use two. But I wanted it to be back to back. So you're going to put a little bit of hot glue. And you're going to put your hook in there. And squeeze it together like so and then there's your bat and now for candies the same thing uh, take one of these cut it and you can just put some hot glue on this don't put it on the chocolate because obviously it will melt the chocolate and then just put this like so and then once that's all dry you can hang those on there all right so I also we got these from Joann's um, and um, I decorated these with puffy paints so you can add stuff like that um, this was the wood cut out the ghost wood cut out and I just put some um, paint on there. I mean, there's just so many things you can do to, um, and then these, they sold at, at the Dollar Tree. Of course, this you have to either cut it and tie it on or take it off and put a hook on it. like so. Now you don't need it that big unless you want it that big but no I'm gonna cut that down. Okay so let me decorate my tree and I'll be back. Okay so this is nearly dry so I'm just going to go in with my X-Acto knife and cut 
that out. And then I was going to take the black, but then I thought maybe I should use the glitter glue. I think that'll just spark it up a little bit. So I'm just going to go around the edge and finish it off. And by right, you should do this on both sides. And because this is Dollar Tree glitter glue, I may want to throw some glitter on here. Um, just to give it a little more sparkle. So, thank you so much for tuning in. Please, if you like the channel, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up and share it. I just love doing these videos and I want to hear from you. Any challenges, any thoughts, things you might want to see, reach out and uh, ask me and I'll be more than happy to, um, to guide you any way that I can. And if there's like a particular craft that you would like to see, you know, ask. And I will be happy to show you. I have one more Halloween craft. And then I, I have one turkey. One, one Thanksgiving one. And then the rest, I believe, are Christmas. So it's going to be Christmas for a while. So let me just get some glitter. So put that in there. this. Couldn't tell you what color this is. It looks like it's a combination. It looks like gray and silver and iridescence. It's pretty cool. And then we will let that dry and then we will do the other side. So again, thank you so much for watching. And I do have a contest going right now. And if you can get three of your friends to subscribe, send me their names, put them in the comment below, and I'll put you in a special drawing, and you can pick any one of my creations that I have made. And um, if I no longer have it, because I do sell at craft shows, I will make you another one, or if I can't find the product to make another one, um, uh, we will come up with something fabulous to uh, send to you. So again, um, we are Artistry Collaborative. You can go to the website, artistrycollaborative.org. I don't really go there very often. I need to update it. I'm, I need to do much better on that. And I'm also on Instagram. Again, not good at that either. Um, I need a new phone. That's the problem. Um, and that's uh, Artistry Collaborative. And um, I also have a podcast called Inner Promptings. And um, that's to encourage and support your creative impulses. So thank you again. And um, remember, keep on creating. And there you have it. The smaller one is a much simpler version. And I just put um, the Dollar Tree bats at the top and just use the great big two spiders that came on the web and just use some webbing with some extra spiders. So you could go simple or you could go more decorative. It's totally up to you. I would love to see what you create. Post pictures on the site. I would love to see them. Happy Halloween! And if you're looking at the tree in the back, that's this year's version of our Halloween tree. We didn't take up the black one. We just used our white birch one and decorated it. All right. Happy Halloween. And remember, keep on creating.